Overnight, a Pinellas Park officer shot a man who had a gun four times, killing him. The officer was not injured. Right now, the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office Use of Deadly Force Task Force is investigating. The shooting happened off 94th Avenue North and 49th Street North, just west of 19. 10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean joins us with more on the investigation. The Pinellas County Use of Deadly Force Investigative Task Force has been brought in to investigate this shooting. But in the meantime, the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office explained the details of what happened here. It was just before 1 a.m. when the woman who lives at this home called 911 saying that she was afraid of her boyfriend, that they had been fighting and he had shown up at the residence. So four Pinellas Park police officers responded to this home. They did locate the suspect around the back of the home. The subject took a uh, Glock semi-automatic uh, Model 19 handgun from his waistband. Um, the one officer who was looking over the fence saw him take the gun out of his waistband. He turned toward Officer Williams. Uh, when he did that, Officer Williams fired approximately four times, uh, striking the subject. He was taken to Bayfront Hospital where he was pronounced dead. We are told that he is 36 year old Jared Rutterham and he has a lengthy criminal history. Um, the information initially was is that the suspect you know, possessed firearms uh, routinely, but nobody had seen a firearm up to that point. Didn't know whether he had one with him here, uh, but he had routinely been known to possess firearms. Now, this use of force investigative task force is brought in anytime there's an officer involved shooting in Pinellas County. It is made up of different law enforcement agencies from across the county. And of course, as we get more information from them, we will bring it to you. In Pinellas Park, Jenny Dean, 10 Tampa Bay.